Welcome to Eyes Unclouded, Global Perspective from Tokyo, by Ansel and Tomoko. Eyes Unclouded refers to how we'd like to be able to look at the world without our own fears and prejudices getting in the way of understanding each other. These fears, that we all have to some degree, are among the biggest barriers to having a broad world perspective. So, in this program, we'll do our best to break down these barriers in ourselves while discussing social and political issues relating both to Japan and the rest of the world. Mm. Let's start off with a look at the Japanese constitution. Wow, it's not an easy topic to start with, is it? <laughs> no, it isn't, but it is rather timely, as after this past summer's upper house election, the Liberal Democratic Party mm. of Japan, the Jiu Minchito, mm. or LDP, along with their coalition partner, the Komeito, or NKP, secured a two-thirds majority in both houses of the Diet. Mm -hmm. The significance of this is that they can begin the process of proposing changes to the constitution. That's right. Mm -hmm. so as I'm currently living in Japan, I was aware of the election, uh, and I'd heard a few news stories about the significance of that two-thirds majority. Mm -hmm. But what surprised me was that according to other news stories after the election, many Japanese people themselves weren't aware of why that was important. Well, during the campaign, Prime Minister Abe's administration largely focused on economic issues like mm -hmm. urbanomics rather than discussing possible constitutional changes. So many people probably weren't thinking about the importance of such a situation. Though even more than that, I think many Japanese people simply don't have much interest in politics in general. Mm. But back during the debate around the security bill from September of last year, mm -hmm. uh, there seemed to be a lot of interest, especially mm -hmm. among younger people. Mm -hmm. uh, weren't there quite a few demonstrations mm -hmm. around the diet mm -hmm. building? Well, it seems like that, yes, but Japanese culture doesn't change so easily. It's mostly still the case that topics like politics and religion aren't considered appropriate for daily conversation. Mm, and I suppose that's especially true when it's a question of whether or not to change the constitution. Uh, with respect to the constitution, especially when it comes to revising Article 9, which bans Japan from having a military, there have been two extreme factions since the end of World War II. One is the Gokenha, pro-constitution faction, which supports the existing constitution. Let's see, Gokenha? Hai, Gokenha to The other is the Kaikenha, anti-constitution faction, which seeks to change it. Uh, Kaikenha. Kaikenha, yes. Hmm. Well, the problem is that both tend to be comprised of so-called political experts such as politicians, law professors, and activists. Mm. As a result, ordinary people tend to feel that the question of revising the constitution doesn't have any direct relation to them. Mm. They see it as an uh, issue for experts or extremists. <laughs> and I think, unfortunately, that this viewpoint is still very mainstream. Mm. So in Japan, people who have a strong interest mm. in or involvement with political issues aren't viewed very positively? Oh, exactly. Whether left or right, liberal or conservative, anyone with a strong interest in politics is viewed as weird or radical. <laughs> you know. mm. Members of Japanese society feel a lot of peer pressure to conform to many traditional unwritten rules, what we refer to as seken. Mm. Seken. Hi, seken. Mm. By and large, these rules tend to carry a lot more weight with ordinary people than the idea of Kempo, the constitution. Mm. Kempo. Mm -hmm. mm. Accordingly, the people considered most responsible are those who tend to follow orders from those in authority without any question and are able to properly and carefully read the situation before expressing their own ideas. For example, Japanese children are brought up with the phrase, okuchi wa tojite, te wa o hiza. Mm. One, one more time, that's mm. okuchi wa tojite, tojite. Mm. te wa o hiza. O hiza. Mm. That mean? Close your mouth and put your hands on your knees. Mm, I see. Okuchi wa tojite, te wa ohiza. That's right. So, in contrast to many other developed nations, Japanese school children rarely have the opportunity to express their own opinions or participate in discussion or debate. Education is largely one way from teacher to student, with those having the most skill at rote memorization usually being considered the smartest. Mm. So people who put forward their own opinions about social issues are viewed as behaving improperly. Well, 
In Japanese, we have the word aoi,、mm. uh, which not only means the color blue,、mm. but can also mean immature or naive.、Mm. As an example, even for an adult such as yourself, if you happen to speak passionately about politics in everyday life, you'd be said to be an aoi yatsu,、hmm. um, immature guy.、Oh. And aoi yatsu. Aoi yatsu. <laughs> yeah, hai yatsu in this case carries some negative feelings as well.、Mm. And we also have the expression, nami kaze wo tateru.、Mm. Nami kaze wo tateru. Hai,、mm. which literally means making waves and winds, but、mm. also refers to intentionally stirring up trouble where none existed, for,、mm. for example, by discussing politics.、Mm. So, Tomoko san,、mm. let me understand. You're a perfectly sensible adult who just happens to be making a YouTube program in English about social and political issues. But from that point of view, you'd be considered an immature and radical person just trying to make trouble for everyone. You, you could maybe say a bizarre middle aged woman. Yes, but I just like to do what I can as an honest and Normal citizen who feels a responsibility for the future of this country.、Mm. Well, a lot of your description of Japanese views on politics are similar to American views. Politics aren't a common topic of everyday discussion, particularly among people who don't really know one another,、mm -hmm. as it can be very awkward to talk with someone whose opinion differs significantly from yours. Generally, people either feel very strongly about politics or they don't care at all, with people who don't have strong political views often being distrustful of those who do. But that certainly doesn't prevent there being a lot of political programming on television. Unfortunately, people with little interest just tend not to watch them at all, while people with an interest in politics simply tend to seek out programs、uh -huh. that agree with what they already think. Really? But watching the American presidential campaign, each and every single person seems to take part in the political process.、Mm. Their passion for the campaign seems less like just waves and More like a tsunami. <laughs> well, at the very least, Americans seem to have a more direct connection to politics than to do Japanese people.、Mm, that could be so.、Uh, Americans get to vote for a specific candidate in the presidential election, and while the American electoral college system is a topic for another day, Most Americans voting do have the feeling that they're picking a particular person, while the Japanese prime minister isn't voted for in the same fashion. Perhaps that feeling helps people develop an interest in politics. Still, the final step to alter the Japanese constitution does depend on a direct system a referendum to the people, kokumin tohyo. Kokumin tohyo, it means referendum. Yes. yes.、Uh, so let's go over the process leading up to the referendum. As we said already, the pro revision faction has secured the two thirds majority it would need in both houses、mm -hmm. to be able to initiate the first ever constitutional referendum in Japan. Right. Once the Diet issues the order for the constitutional referendum, it must be、uh, held on no sooner than 60 days and no later than 180 days after the order. If the referendum receives a board of approval from the majority of both castes, then the constitution is changed. It's as simple as that.、Mm. The, so the interval from when the order is issued、mm -hmm. until the vote 60 to 180、mm -hmm. days later is like a campaign period for the referendum. Well, you could say that both pro and anti constitution groups will make appeals to the people directly、mm -hmm. and、mm -hmm. through the media during that period.、Mm -hmm. So, the general public has to reach a decision for themselves within that time frame.、Mm -hmm. But if the referendum can occur as soon as two months after the order, is that really enough time to discuss and understand all of the issues deeply? Well, exactly. We've never had a referendum before, and we don't really have a sense of the historical reality it represents.、Mm -hmm. So, it's essential that we start getting ready now, deepening our understanding of constitutional issues before an order for referendum is issued. I think it's too late to start thinking about this、uh, after the diet initiates the referendum process.、Mm. And 60 days seems、mm -hmm. especially brief, considering that Japan has already lived for over、uh, 60 years with the conflict between maintaining the self defense force,、mm -hmm. the GA Tai, and the language of Article 9, which renounces the maintaining of land, sea, and air forces, as well as other war potential. Now, there was a draft referendum released by the LDP in 2012, which clearly repositioned the self defense force as a national military, a kokubogun.、はいねうん、under the command of the prime minister.、Uh, though the pro Article 9 faction would 
certainly be resistant mm. to this language. Uh, couldn't such a change at least resolve this long-standing tension? Mm. Well, the dilemma between Article 9 and the SDF, GATA, is mm. something that many of us have avoided not only discussing but also thinking deeply. Um, but the time to face it honestly and clearly has arrived. I think that we should take the current situation as an opportunity to gather as much information as possible, mm. consider it ourselves, and discuss it with others, all to deepen our literacy around these issues. Mm. Then each of us can calmly decide where we stand with respect to changing the Constitution. Such actions shouldn't be considered immature, aoi toka, or making waves, mm. namikaze o tateru toka, but rather should be expected from citizens living in a constitutional state, rikken kokka. Rikken kokka. Rikken kokka to imasu, nihongo dewa. So, a nation governed by a constitution. That's right. Mm. So, maybe before thinking about whether or not to change the constitution, we should first work on changing the mindset of the people towards thinking about political issues. Mm. And so today, the Japanese people are standing at a historical and political turning point as citizens in a democratic state. It's with that in mind that Tomoko-san and I would like to have discussions about this and other related issues in this program. As globalization continues, many political and economic issues also become more global in their effect. Take the recent Brexit vote, in which the citizens of the UK voted to leave the EU, sending shockwaves through the global economy. And the debate around Article 9 is of interest not only to Japan, but to its nearby Asian neighbors and its allies, including the US and the EU. By presenting our discussions in an international language like English, we hope that we'll be able to share new perspectives with a wide variety of interested people, presenting the possibility of deepening everyone's understanding of these issues. And even if you're someone who doesn't currently have much interest in political or social issues, but would like to improve your English, we are hoping that this program will be helpful for English learning as well. Mm. And maybe by studying English with us, you might also find that these other topics are of interest. Oh, it's frustrating um, because even though Japanese people spend a lot of time, mm. energy, and money <laughs> on English learning, we still seem to have trouble becoming good at it. <laughs> Uh, perhaps, I think, reason for this is the aspect of uh, Japanese culture uh, to downplay our own individual opinions to preserve the harmony of the group. It seems to be quite the opposite of English-speaking mindset, where expressing a, a clear individual opinion is important. Hmm. Well, I certainly do have quite a bit of admiration for the emphasis that Japanese culture places on getting along as a society. There are times when American culture could certainly benefit from more of that outlook. However, as global citizens, when it comes to crucial issues, I think it's also really important to form your own clear ideas about them, shaped by good information, and then share your ideas with other people, not forgetting to listen to them in turn, always trying to remain fair and objective. There's no need to be anywhere nearly as aggressive about mm -hmm. things as many Americans seem to become. And so the mission of this program is to be not only a social topics program, but also an English learning program. Mm. As many of you may know, the English exams for entering Japanese universities will be replaced with the TOEFL mm. and the AKIM exams. In both of these exams, the ability to speak about current affairs is tested. Mm. So if you are preparing for these exams, please think of this program as study material. Mm. Additionally, every episode will have Japanese subtitles, so it can even be helpful for Japanese learning. At the end of each episode, we'll have a segment for introducing keywords. So let's take a look at the keyword for this episode, Kenpo, Kenpo. or constitution. constitution. A constitution is a system of fundamental laws and principles that prescribes the nature, functions, and limits of a government or another institution. Oh, rather than being laws for individuals, it's a set of laws for the government. Mm -hmm. In other words, while civil codes and penal codes are laws to limit people, a constitution defines the laws that limit government. Mm. And building on constitution, we get constitutionalism, the operation of a government in which power is distributed and limited by a system of laws that must be obeyed by those in power. Mm -hmm. Modern constitutions act as a system to protect the human rights of individuals from the power of the government. 
In Japan, teaching about that aspect of constitutionalism has been almost neglected. We all have the mistaken idea that it is the people who are limited by the constitution. In actuality, the constitution limits the government. Mm. So before getting into Article 9, we need to address this basic point. Mm. And so for now, please look forward to next time, when we'll continue on with more topics about the constitution. Until then, arigato, mata o aishimashou. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.